Imagine a defense system so advanced, it doesn't fire missiles, it fires light. Israel's new iron beam laser defense has officially entered active service, and it's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. Stay tuned, because what you're about to see changes everything you thought you knew about missile defense. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most groundbreaking developments in modern defense technology, Israel's new laser defense system, the Iron Beam. This isn't science fiction, it's a real, fully operational weapon system that uses concentrated light to destroy incoming threats in mid-air. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, Iron Beam represents a massive leap forward for Israel's air defense network. It's designed to work alongside other layers like Iron Dome, David Sling, and Arrow 3, forming a comprehensive shield that covers everything from short-range rockets to long-range ballistic missiles. What makes Iron Beam revolutionary is its cost efficiency and precision. Instead of expensive interceptor missiles, it uses an invisible laser beam traveling at the speed of light to neutralize targets almost instantly for just a few dollars per shot. In this video, we'll explore how it works, what makes it unique, and how it could change the future of global defense technology. So sit tight because we're about to uncover how Israel is turning science fiction into real world defense power. The story of Iron Beam begins with a vision, the dream of creating a defense system that's fast, affordable, and limitless. Traditional interceptor missiles are effective, but they come with a high price tag and limited ammunition. Every missile fired costs tens of thousands of dollars, in contrast, the Iron Beam offers a revolutionary solution. It fires pure energy, meaning as long as there's electricity, there's defense. Israel's defense engineers realized that the next battlefield would be about speed and sustainability. Rockets, mortars, and drones can be launched in swarms, and intercepting each with an expensive missile is not practical. That's where the Iron Beam comes in. It's cheap, clean, and fast. The idea was simple, yet bold. If you can track and hit a target with a laser in milliseconds, you can outpace any projectile. This vision led Rafael to invest years of research, development, and testing to make Iron Beam not only powerful, but also reliable under real combat conditions. It's a system built for the future, one where lasers, not explosives, form the backbone of air defense. And now that vision has become a reality. So how does Iron Beam actually work? In simple terms, it's a directed energy weapon. The system uses fiber optic laser technology to produce a concentrated beam of light capable of heating and destroying targets in seconds. When an enemy rocket Mortar or drone is detected, iron beams, advanced radar locks onto it, and a high energy laser is fired. This beam doesn't explode or cause shrapnel. It simply burns through the threat, destroying its structure mid-flight. The weapon operates silently and invisibly. No smoke, no noise, just precision. One of its biggest strengths is the instant response time. Missiles take seconds to launch, lasers take microseconds to hit. The system can engage multiple targets at once, making it ideal against drone swarms or barrages of rockets. Another key advantage is its low operational cost. Unlike interceptor missiles that can cost tens of thousands of dollars each, iron beams, shots, cost roughly two to four dollars. That means a massive financial and logistical advantage during prolonged conflicts. In short, Iron Beam represents the perfect mix of science, strategy, and sustainability, redefining how nations think about missile defense. Iron Beam doesn't replace Israel's other defense systems, it completes them. Israel's air defense network works in layers, each designed for different types of threats. 
Iron Dome handles short-range rockets, David Sling covers medium-range missiles, and Arrow 2 and 3 target long-range uh, ballistic threats, Iron Beam sits at the lowest layer. Designed to handle smaller, frequent attacks like mortars, short-range rockets, and drones, this is where its speed and low cost make it a game-changer. Instead of firing expensive interceptors at cheap rockets, Iron Beam neutralizes them using pure energy. The system is mobile and compact, meaning it can be mounted on trucks or stationed near cities, giving Israel a flexible and rapid response defense grid. This integration ensures that Israel can maintain continuous coverage. Even if one system is busy, another layer can take over. Together, these systems form one of the most advanced and multi-layered defense shields on Earth. Iron Beam's role in this network proves one thing. The future of defense isn't just about power, it's about precision, efficiency, and adaptability. Before entering service, Iron Beam underwent years of rigorous testing in real-world scenarios. These tests included intercepting rockets, mortar shells, and UAVs at various altitudes and distances. According to Israel's Ministry of Defense, the system achieved a remarkable success rate, consistently destroying targets mid-air using laser energy alone. In one demonstration, the beam vaporized a drone in seconds, a clear sign that the technology had matured enough for deployment. These trials also proved the system's weather adaptability. While lasers can be affected by rain, fog, or dust, Raphael engineers developed advanced targeting and compensation algorithms to keep accuracy high under most conditions. The most striking part, each interception cost only a few dollars compared to the tens of thousands spent per Iron Dome interceptor. This drastic cost reduction could transform future defense economics, allowing sustained protection without draining national budgets. Field data showed that Iron Beam could operate continuously, firing multiple laser bursts in quick succession, perfect for countering saturation attacks. With such performance, the Iron Beam has officially moved from the test field to active military service, ready to defend Israel's skies. At the heart of the Iron Beam lies its fiber laser technology, a product of decades of innovation. Unlike traditional lasers that rely on bulky, energy-hungry designs, fiber lasers use coiled optical fibers doped with rare earth elements to produce high-intensity, coherent light. This allows Iron Beam to maintain an incredible level of beam focus and power over long distances. The beam is guided using advanced tracking systems powered by AI and machine learning algorithms, ensuring precision even when the target is moving fast or maneuvering. The energy source is drawn from onboard generators that convert electrical power into light energy. When fired, the system directs the beam through adaptive mirrors, maintaining stability and accuracy despite environmental factors like wind or vibration. Another innovation is its cooling and thermal management system, which prevents overheating during rapid, repeated shots. This means the iron beam can keep firing without long pauses, unlike traditional interceptors that need reloading. Essentially, this technology brings the dream of infinite ammunition closer to reality. As long as there's power, iron beam can defend continuously and precisely. Iron Beam introduces several advantages that make it stand out from conventional defense systems. The first is speed. Missiles or projectiles take seconds to travel. Iron Beam hits its target at the speed of light, literally. This means minimal reaction time and near instant neutralization. The second is cost efficiency. Traditional interceptor missiles are expensive to produce and replace. Iron Beam, on the other hand, offers unlimited firing potential for a fraction of the cost. This shift can save millions during prolonged conflicts. The third is sustainability. Unlike explosive interceptors, Iron Beam leaves no debris, no chemical residue, and no risk to civilians below. It's a clean, safe form of defense that protects without collateral damage. 
And finally, there's stealth and silence. The laser operates invisibly, no sound, no smoke trail, no flash, giving defenders a massive tactical advantage. Together, these benefits redefine what it means to defend airspace in the modern age. Iron Beam is not just another weapon, it's a technological statement about the future of warfare, faster, smarter, and far more efficient. The global defense community has been watching Israel's Iron Beam with intense interest. Nations across the world, from the US to India and European allies, are studying its development closely Experts believe that laser-based air defense could soon become a standard feature in national defense grids. The United States has already shown interest in collaborating with Israel to adapt Iron Beam's technology for joint defense programs. Countries facing similar short-range threats see Iron Beam as an ideal low-cost solution, especially in regions where traditional interceptors are financially unsustainable Beyond its military role, Iron Beam has also sparked discussions about defense ethics and technological responsibility. How far should laser weaponry evolve and how should it be regulated internationally? Israel, for now, plans to keep Iron Beam primarily for domestic defense, but export potential remains open for allied nations under strict security agreements. As testing transitions into deployment, one thing is clear, Iron Beam is not just a national asset, it's a global milestone in the shift toward energy-based defense. The success of Iron Beam is just the beginning. Experts predict that laser defense systems will soon protect everything from military bases to civilian airports. In the future, these systems could be scaled up for use on ships aircraft, or even space platforms. Israel's achievement has accelerated a new arms race, not in missiles, but in energy weapons. As technology advances, the power output, range, and precision of lasers will continue to grow. Future versions might be able to intercept hypersonic missiles or even satellites. The biggest challenge now lies in power generation and weather resistance. As nations invest more in renewable and compact power sources, the potential of laser weapons will expand dramatically. For Israel, Iron Beam is both a shield and a signal, a declaration that defense no longer depends on explosive power, but on intelligence and innovation. In time, this technology could redefine how humanity defends itself not by destruction, but by precision and light. Iron Beam's entry into active service marks a historic moment in the evolution of defense systems. For the first time, a nation has successfully deployed a fully operational laser weapon capable of protecting its people with minimal cost and maximum efficiency. This achievement showcases Israel's long-standing tradition of technological innovation and its ability to adapt rapidly to emerging threats. It also highlights a broader global trend, the shift towards smart, sustainable and science-driven defense solutions. In the years ahead, we can expect more nations to follow Israel's lead, developing their own versions of energy-based weapons. The age of lasers in defense has officially begun, and Iron Beam stands at its forefront. From concept to combat readiness, it represents the fusion of engineering, physics, and national security, a true symbol of 21st century defense evolution. If you found this breakdown of Israel's Iron Beam fascinating, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more deep dives into global defense technology and military innovation. Let's keep exploring how science is shaping the future of security, one breakthrough at a time.